Hey everyone, Elfster76 here. I'm going to show you guys uh, another little creation I came up with. Haven't really seen this anywhere on YouTube yet, although I have been looking. Um, it's another portal elevator. In my opinion, it's the quickest way to get from bedrock up to top level. That's not top level, that's just halfway up. The top level is way up there. Am I able to fly? Yes, I'm able to fly. Anyway, I have a portal way up there that's on right now. And when we go into the nether portal, we go into the nether, we come back into the nether portal, and we should be up at the top, top, top level. Okay, so the way I got this hooked up is I got a little fire charge that's going to shoot. You got to wait till right after the water spits, and then you walk on. You go in, wait for your animation, and you go into the nether. Now, right now, the dispenser with the water should turn off the portal on the other side. So I go back in. I didn't have to wait that long. I could do it a lot quicker than that. And we're up at top level. That's my top right there. I can't build any higher than that. And yeah, that's it. It's that simple. You could build, uh, I don't know, for this is for people who have like islands in the sky or they have a planet they want to hide stuff inside of or you have a blimp or whatever you want to go up to and you don't want to have a big ladder going up to it. You could build these underneath any one of your sky creations and you can just teleport yourself into them. Obviously, when you're in the nether, you build yourself a little fortress and whatnot so that you don't get uh, killed while you're using the elevator. But yeah, in my opinion, this is quite possibly here. I'll see if I can do it really fast this time. Water spits, walk on, into the nether, out, back in. And we should be at top level right now. Yep. Oops. There we go. Top level. Where's the water? Where's the water? Uh, beautiful. Okay. I'm going to reload this in creative and show you guys pretty much how to build this. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm back. Loaded it up in creative. All right. So first thing I guess we should do is probably build our portal up in the air. So you're going to have to go all the way up to your top level or whatever level you want your portal at. doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I'm assuming people will be putting these inside of, like I said, blimps or hot air balloons, airplanes up in the sky, planets. That's what I use it for. I have a grinder in a planet, like a, a random mob grinder, and I use this idea, technology, whatever, to get into my area without having a big ladder going up to it i made like a planet looks like mars kind of anyway so i'll need enough room for a portal and we'll do it exactly at top 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 level i guess we'll start off by building your portal And like I said, this will work in survival. If you want it to work in creative, there's a little tweaking you got to do. But why would you even want this in creative? You could just fly up. But yeah, if you want it in creative, I could show you guys how to do it in creative. You just got to put less items inside of the hopper clock. All right, so portal up on top. Just put a little platform so we don't fall to our death as soon as we get up here. All right, we'll turn this portal on. All right, so here, I'll stick a redstone block on the corners. This way you guys could recognize it's the same portal. And you come down to the bottom. Let's get rid of all this. I don't know if you guys know about this, but that's the fastest way to get rid of a pile of sand place anything underneath of it and it'll just keep falling and getting destroyed instead of busting out your shovel. Anyway, as that's happening, I guess I'll start building the contraption. I don't remember exactly how I built, well, I know the concept of it might not look exactly the same as the first time. Things that are for sure, we'll need a dispenser aimed upwards. 
we'll need our nether portal. Alright, that'll be our portal. Then in the back of that, place another block up to the same level as your portal. Another dispenser. Right here. Off this dispenser, we have two repeaters. One with no ticks. And the other one, I believe it was three. We'll know as soon as we try it anyway. Redstone dust. You throw a sticky piston pretty much anywhere you want with a block on top of it. We will need a repeater going into that. Yeah, that's about right. And from here, we'll need our hopper clock. Oh, just to show you again, bedrock is right there. Can't go any further. So it is literally from the bottom to the top. All right, um, hopper clock. Redstone block is going to power it. We're going to want piston, piston, uh, comparators, hoppers, and comparator there. Comparator here. Place a hopper there. Place the next hopper into that hopper and then break that hopper and add another hopper. We need a block here, block there, redstone dust, another block. Redstone dust. I believe it was seven items we stick in here. So take anything, put seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is how long it takes for your, you to teleport to the nether. Next, a little platform to walk. Well, I'll pick up all this end. Don't need that. Your walking platform. Redstone dust here. Pressure plate above the redstone dust. Oops. Pressure plate there. Fill up this hopper with fire charges. Uh, hopper, sorry. This dispenser. This dispenser, fill, put a bucket of water in it. That should do a little tick tick kind of thing in a second. We'll see. There you go. That's going to turn off the portal. I think that's pretty much the entire build, guys. Could it be any simpler? This was actually faster to build than building a water elevator or putting a ladder up to the top. Probably less resources, too. All right. So let's uh, give it a shot. Make sure it works. Wait, I'm in creative right now. So I'm going to switch over to survival. And... We'll give this thing a shot. Make sure it works. All right, so here you go. Um, in survival, I just want to show you guys this so you know it's in survival. Yes, I know it's previously been saved in creative. It's my tutorial world. All right, so we'll let this load up. And yeah, I can now fly. I can no longer get exhausted. That doesn't really matter. So you wait for the water to flick. Hit this, walk in. Oh, I might have been a bit slow on that. We'll see. Yeah, I was too slow. Oh, I'll do this again. Hold on. As soon as the water flashes. I think I was too slow again. Erg. Oh, no, I got in. All right, so here we go. In the nether. And we go back in. 
we should be up at the top level. If you go off the pressure plate too quick, there you go, we're up. We did it. It worked. Congratulations, everyone. If you built this at the same way in the same time, well, hey, you're all at the top of your world in absolutely no time. If you go back in, I don't know where you're going to come out. Probably in the same portal as up on top because it's still on. You could build the contraption up on top, like I said, to, uh, to do the exact same thing. You could have this one turn off and then the other one on if you want to use that to get up and down. Or you just do what I did before. Make yourself a spot down on the bottom with a hole and water. And you just drop off. There's no quicker way to fall. Actually, that nether portal might be faster than falling. So we'll do it one more time just for the fun of it. Show you guys it works every time. Off to the nether. Back in again. You could go in and out of the nether a lot quicker. And we're up at the top. You don't have to hang around there. Pretty much as soon as you go through the portal, you can go right back in. So... I think it is possibly the quickest way to get up to the top. And at least it's like an invisible elevator. It's not a big tube or anything going up to the sky. It's a lot more inconspicuous. You could hide this anywhere. Oh, that was way too slow, though. Oh, what do you know? I got lucky. Worked again. I love when things work over and over. This it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, once again, this works in survival. In order for this to work in creative... I'm not sure exactly what the timing is. I think it's like one item or maybe two items you put in a hopper clock for it to work. Because it has to be really quick. Because in creative, there's no animation to go to the nether. So in creative, you'll just take out five of your items, leave two or one. I'm not sure what it is. But you can experiment. It's not really hard to figure out. Only thing I have to warn you guys about is that the way that I built this... If you walk too quick, you'll get burnt. Like, you'll see in a second, I'll do it on purpose. You'll catch on fire instead of setting off the portal. You don't want that. Luckily, you can just go on the side, put yourself out, if that does happen. That's why when you're walking on, take a little pause when you get onto the pressure plate. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Make sure it lights, then walk in. It's the safest way to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit that thumbs up button down on the bottom. It's going to help my channel grow. I've been at this for quite a while. I don't advertise too much. I figured word of mouth should, should get my channel growing. So I'm leaving it up to you guys. Pass the word. Let people know that I'm doing this. And I don't know. I think my stuff is pretty awesome. If you've seen my other creations, check my other videos. You'll see there's some very advanced redstone involved in most of my creations. And I plan on knocking out at least... Two videos a week. If I start getting more subs and I see my channel growing nicely, I will definitely knock out a lot more stuff. I take requests. I look at the comments often. I definitely want to keep my subscribers happy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And any request, let me know what you think I should do. And I will try my hardest to build it for you. Anyway, catch you guys next time.